Hi, so I am Tracy and I do a lot of reviews on Amazon and my husband said that I should start making videos about them. So here's my first video. I just bought the Libor um, Echo 5 first and second generation uh, portable case hmm. with a handle. I don't have an answer for that. My stupid thing is thinking I'm talking to her. Anyway, uh, you put it inside and you can carry it around and this is the battery pack. I got the 10 hour battery pack. It's 18 hour standby and six hour charging. I only found that out after I bought it. At first I thought, wow, this is taking a really long time to charge. But it actually tells you it takes six hours to charge. So I guess if it takes six hours to charge, that means the battery is going to last quite a long time. Uh, 10 hours if you're actually using it. And I use it to watch my baby sleep. He does not sleep for 10 hours. So most of the time it's just plugged in and charging. And like it normally would be. Anyway, so what you do is you take your Echo Show, unplug it. It comes with the battery pack and this plug to go into your power port. So it's kind of difficult to get it in there, just like any phone case would be. You have to pull it up and around and all around the corners. Sorry if you can't see all this. Like I said, this is my first time doing a video review. So now I have it in here. It's nice. It has the camera opening like a phone case would have. It has the buttons on the top for the um, audio and the do not disturb. And then what you do, see here's the handle. What you do is you take this plug and you plug it into the power port. Sorry, there's a fly go flying around. The power button for the actual battery is right here and you hold it, it says for two to three seconds or two to four seconds to turn it on and you wait for this to turn on. On the side, you can charge it with the regular charger that came with your Echo Show 5, first and second generation by the way. Or you can charge it with um, a USB-C charger. I was doing both, to, thinking maybe it would help charge it a little faster. So, as you can see, it takes, or as you know, if you have one of these, it takes forever for it to boot up. My biggest issue with this is I noticed I was carrying it around when I was watching my baby sleep and I had other things in my hand and I get back to the playroom and it's turned off and rebooting and I didn't know why I thought maybe I pressed this button by accident um I wasn't sure um and earlier today, I realized that if 
you bump this because it doesn't snap in. I'm pressing it. You don't hear it click when you press on it or anything. But if you bump this, it turns it off and reboots it. And like I said, for those of you who have these, you know it takes forever for them to reboot. All the while, I don't know, let's say I'm downstairs, I don't know if my baby's woken up because I can't hear him from downstairs. So that's a big, you know, irritation to me, to say the least. Otherwise, this thing is really great. I accidentally broke my baby monitor, which is why I use this. And with one of my other Echoes, I got a free Wise box cam. So I use that as his video. Echo, show me the box cam. Sorry, I don't know that. Echo, show me the box cam. Okay. <laughs> She's not an AI, she's an AR. Sorry, I'm not very PC. So, I watch him sleep. And this is really the only reason why I bought it. But uh, when I first got it, the first, there were two lights on it, so I could test it out and everything. And it's great, I love it. You just have to watch out and not spin this cord or you will lose everything and have to wait and do the Jeopardy theme, you know, two or three times before it finally comes back up and you can ask to view whatever you want to view. So I, on Amazon, I gave it four stars because it is a really great idea and as far as I know it's the only thing like it out there and uh, but it is only for the older Echo Shows the uh, I have the Echo Show 5 second generation and it works for the first and second generation I have my notes on my phone so I can't really read them since I'm using my phone to videotape this. But uh, anyway, uh, so here's the original plug. I can plug it back in. And I can't remember, but yeah, 18 hours standby time, uh, six hours charging time. Six hours to charge it. But then again, that's only if you have it on the battery pack for eight, uh, sorry, 10 to 18 hours. So just try not to do that. You know, who needs it on the battery pack for that long? You can always just plug it in wherever you're going around the house. If you have to just walk around the house with it and are not sitting still and can't really plug it in, then I can see why that would be a pain in the butt. But for me, I go down to the kitchen and I do the dishes or whatever. I have another Echo down there. So I can turn this one off and just use the one down there. Uh, and then I'm back up in the playroom most of the time. It's, we call it the playroom, but it's the loft. As you can see, it's very long. Uh, and this is where we spend most of our time anyway. But uh, yeah, so that is my review and showing you about it and the uh, ups and downs, my trials and tribulations. I only just got it a couple days ago and so far so good. I really like it. I just am going to be careful about that chord so I don't have to sing the Jeopardy song over and over. <laughs> so uh, yeah, if you have any questions or comments. Uh, go ahead and leave them below 
And if you want to see any future reviews, subscribe to my channel, which is weird saying because I've only ever heard people say that. All right. Thanks. Talk to you guys later.